Hey Adrian, is Webflow any good? What do you think about Webflow Adrian? How come you never talk about Webflow Adrian? Ask and you shall receive. Yes, I think Webflow is a good no-code website builder. If that's all you wanted, off to Webflow you go, link in description, leave a like and a sub on the way out. But is Webflow the best for every situation? Don't think so. There are a few other options I would like to recommend, so stick around. I'll be sharing four no-code website builders I recommend, but what I'm really sharing is four solutions to four different use cases. Why? Because I hit lists where every option seems to be doing the same thing. It's redundant and nobody needs a list with 20 options. Here's a super common question you'll see on forums. What no-code website builder should I use? And everyone's first reply is always, how are you going to use it? That's how it should be. First, understand your use case, then find the best tool for that use case at the time. I say at the time because new tools get built, existing ones get updated or go obsolete. And as a user, all you can do is check from time to time to see if your tool now sucks. So as of October 2023, I've scoured the four corners of the web. Here are four no-code website builders to serve four separate use cases. The first use case, you prioritize all around functionality, reliability, and security. My recommendation, Webflow. Webflow is like a well-fitting white t-shirt. Can't go wrong with it. Works in most situations, and both are 100% cotton. It matters that Webflow has been around since 2013. That's 10 years. A decade in the website builder space is a long time. You don't stick around by having a bad product. At a glance, Webflow offers everything you need to build a complete website. A drag and drop page builder, the ability to edit pages directly from the front end, advanced animations and interaction tools, a CMS that works for designers and writers, an e-commerce builder, SEO tools, hosting, and website security. If WordPress was built today, it would be Webflow. You don't have to duct tape a million plugins together. You can just focus on making a good website that your audience will love. Being able to edit pages directly on the front end is so damn convenient. And if you aren't naturally gifted at web page design, which is to say your designs are ugly as shit, EMOTIONAL DAMAGE! Webflow has 2,000 templates across five languages you can choose from. I find it super cool that you can filter these templates by feature. Let's say I want a website with animation. I'm not a fan of heavy animation, but say I want to give my visitors a headache so that I can sell them headache medicine. 200 IQ move by Adrian Chang. Here we go, all the interactive templates I could ever want. Let's check one out with a preview. Perfect. I already feel migraine. Their most popular plan costs $23 per month under the annual option or $29 for the monthly option and the template ranges from free all the way to $129. There is a genuine desire to educate and upskill users. It's not just a 10,000 word Google document. You can learn at your own pace, but in a structured way, thanks to their quote unquote Webflow University. And if you don't want to learn shit, or need some custom work done, you can hire a Webflow expert to do it for you. Like I said, Webflow is a white t-shirt. It's gonna work for almost anyone. If you've got a long-term project or a business that isn't just a side gig, which means you are prepared to invest time and money. Webflow, in my opinion, will give you the best ROI. Now, I want to explore three use cases where other builders might be better. But first, allow me to rent. Yo, I went through dozens of website builders for this video. I sat down, tested, compared them to make sure the UI UX were user-friendly and they fit different use cases. It took a whole afternoon. Five billionaire clients called to offer projects, but I told them, no, I have finished this. That's how you matter to me. Show me that I matter too. Subscribe, like this video, and leave a comment saying, I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Second use case, you want to build a website with Notion. My recommendation, super. Not to be confused with Superbase. If you've used Notion, you already know it's amazing for creating documents. If you've never used Notion, now you know it's amazing for creating documents. And Notion already lets you turn those documents into a website in seconds. But it comes with limitation. Namely, it looks like a document because it is a document. It's hosted on a Notion URL and worse, there's a Notion call to action at the top corner. Sometimes these limitations don't matter. 
Sometimes they do. That's when you turn to Super. It wraps your Notion page in a more attractive and functional container. They've got a step-by-step -step guide to turn your Notion pages into a professional-looking website. You get to choose a template, organize your internal linking, and edit the site theme so nobody would ever guess it's really just a Word document with heavy lipsticks. And whatever changes you make to the Notion document are automatically reflected in Super. 16 bucks a month and you're set. Now you can add a navigation bar, publish your own custom domain, change your site theme elements, add password protection, and most importantly, no more Notion call to action button. Keep in mind there are no fancy animations and functions like you would get on Webflow. It's going to be a lot more limited, but if you just want to turn your Notion docs into a nice looking website, check out Super. Third use case, you just want one page. My recommendation, card, which I assume is short for cut out the shit you don't need. Card is a no-code website builder for use cases that only need one page. If you are a designer and you need a one-page portfolio, if you are a marketer and you need a zero-scroll sign-up form, if you are a narcissist and you need a one-page profile to tell the world how awesome you are, why bother with Webflow University when card is so much simpler to use and gets the job done just as well. Their plan with custom domains is just $19 per year, which comes to about $1.60 a month. $1.60 a month is a small price to pay for the world to know how awesome you are and how cheap. You get even more limited functionality and a smaller template library to choose from, but did I mention it's just $1.60 a month for a fully functional, professional looking web page. Fourth use case, you need help but don't want to pay for it. In other words, you need an AI assistant. My recommendation, Framer. For full disclosure, Webflow has talked about implementing AI into their platform, but I don't think they shared a concrete date. And I like how users on the Webflow subreddit are all like, finish the other you promise first. And like I said, gotta look for what tools are the best at this time not some hypothetical date in the future. Which brings us to Framer. Specifically, Framers start with AI. Instead of browsing through a gallery of templates, though that is available, you can just prompt an AI assistant to generate specific web pages. And as you can see, it comes with AI generated copy and you can continue to prompt it to generate more pages and manually customize the page design elements. Other than that, I would say Framer is pretty much a younger version of Webflow. They were founded in 2016, so it's no surprise. They provide support features like SEO, CMS, security, and templates with animation. But their templates are a bit lacking in my humble opinion, and I think their user education pales in comparison to Webflow. But if you're that set on using AI, then I think you will have a good experience with Framer. Their pricing breakdown is not as straightforward as I would like, but looks like the annual 15 bucks per month plan gets you custom domains. So I would say they know where they stand in the no-code space compared to Webflow, and they are priced appropriately. Ta-da! Four use cases and four no-code website builders. What if I didn't cover your use case? Just use Webflow, kidding. Look, there are too many use cases out there to list out. And even if I did, someone will just invent a new one. If you understand exactly what you want out of your website, put it together in a list, make sure it's easily understood and ask the no-code subreddit. Those guys are super helpful. Or drop a comment below. If I have a helpful suggestion, I'll let you know. If you're too lazy to explain your needs properly, I have the perfect answer for you. Just use Webflow. So now you have the perfect no-code tool to build websites with, you better know what goes into good web page design, specifically landing pages. They have one purpose, to convert people. And there is a science to converting people. I cover this science in my video, breaking down the nine elements of a high conversion landing page. I cover the theory and show real world examples. That's it for this video. Remember, there is no perfect tool. It always depends on your use case. Subscribe, like this video, and let's see how to build awesome landing pages.